question that this question is for rank correlation okay yeah so for rank correlation the question goes like this 10 participants in a contest are ranked by two judges as follows we need to find the rank correlation see here 10 participants are given so we can directly write it as number of observations are 10 and ranked by two judges we can name those two judges as x and y okay and for that we have some 10 ranks given in the question that is from 1 to 10 see they have given the ranks from 1 to 10 which are shuffled here so here in this case they have uh, given the ranks here okay yeah since they have not given any values here they have directly given the ranks so we can directly write using the formulas so see here so in order to find in the parameters in the formula we have d square right so in order to get d summation of d square we need x y along with that we need d so that we get the summation of d square right so first thing same as the same uh, procedure that is write the corresponding values of x and y uh, no need of taking the summation since in the formula they have not given any terms like summation x summation y right they have only given summation d square and n cube minus n so n uh, we know that the n corresponds to number of observation that is 10 here yeah so now write x y the ranks given so and take the difference of them that is d is equal to x minus y so that right uh, take the values like my 1 minus 6 is minus 5 6 minus 4 is 2 5 minus 9 is minus 4 10 minus 8 is 2 3 minus 1 2 2 minus 2 0 4 minus 3 1 9 minus 10 minus 1 7 minus 5 2 8 minus 10, 1 write them okay and uh, again we don't need to take the summation of d here also so I have just taken it for your reference uh, but this is not required okay only this only the last thing that is we need to take this d squares summation because the, in the formula they have given mentioned the parameter d square right yeah so d square means we need to take the squares of so minus 5 the whole square is minus 5 into minus 5 is 25 and again 2 square is 4 minus 4 square is 16 and again right all of their square terms and at last take its summation so that I have took it in so I have got the answer as 60 so summation of d square corresponds to 60 and at the last thing the same uh, mathematical steps that is we need to substitute the whatever values we have we have so this is the row that is rank correlation is equal to 1 minus 6 into summation of d square is 60 right let substitute as 60 minus n cube that is the value of uh, n is 10 so 10 cube corresponds to 1000 minus n is that is 10 so 1 minus 360 upon 990 so here we can cancel 0 0 so that is 1 minus 36 divided by 99 so what we get 36 divided by 99 we get it as 0 0.36 right 0 0.3636 okay we can even write it as 0 0.3636 yeah since the these two repeat digits are repeating so i have just only written 0 0.36 only yeah. so finally 1 minus 0 0.36 is 0 0.64 so this is your final answer that we got that is 0 0.64 so now we will, we will discuss one problem where the ranks are not given okay so that you would be clear about this concept it would come like this fit a parabola of y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c see they have given even the parabola sometimes they would be given they would be giving a specific equation whether it is a plus bx plus cx bx plus cx square or ax square plus bx plus c using those equations only we are going to substitute the following equations and we need to write for the data x and y where the number of observations given are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 for each x and y so here the number of observations are 7 write that first n equal to 7 so now for ax square plus bx plus c we have three equations right so in that the parameters which we are need to find is we need to find summation of x in the those three set of equations we have some we need to find summation of y summation of x square x cube x power 4 x y and x square y right but here we have the values for x and y using these we are going to write these other parameters as well that is write all the values for x and y and find its summation that is we need to add these all terms so that we get 17.5 and for y also write all the terms and add them we get 15.2 and 
x square means we need to take x square in all the in each of the cases and again he makes summation x cube means we need to take its cube and take its summation we got uh, x square we got it as 50.75 and here we got it as 161.875 x power 4 similarly we got 548.1875 so please remember that till up to four decimal places you need to write okay max to max okay don't write up to two or three decimal places up to four decimal places you try to write it okay yeah so x y means x into y right then and take its summation we got 43.6 y x square y again same thing x square we have along with y so take these two multiply these two terms and write it here and again take its summation we got it as 138.475 so now again the rest of the steps remains the same that is we have found all the summations substitute in the uh, par parabolic equations the B, that is for uh, ax square plus bx plus 3 we, uh, c we have three set of equations right yeah for so for in those equations we need to substitute c we have three equations right one is summation of y a summation x square plus b summation x plus c n so here summation of y corresponds to 15.2 a b c keep it as it is and uh, substitute the corresponding values for summation x square summation x that is 50.75 a plus 17.5 b plus 7 c similarly for these three equations also so we have three equations here so in order to find the three equations what we need to do is again i'm going to show it the same thing press mod setup equation in place of equation they are asking the number five but here we need to choose the second option that is a and x plus b and y plus c and z plus t since we have four parameters a b c and the outer term right so we need to press the number two here again it asks the values for the coefficients okay the first coefficient is this substitute that the same thing or first coefficient put the value of 50.75 17.57 7, and last is 15.2 press all those values again in this form and finally after pressing this they would be giving the values in the calculator as x y z that corresponds to a b and c so while putting these values in the calculators we got the values for a b and c and the same thing again in the required parabola they have given a x square plus b x plus c same thing whatever the values for a b and c substitute in the equation so that we are going to get this answer Yeah, so this is the very important question. Okay. The given question is the following table uses the height of the father x and the height of son y. Okay. So here the father is represented as x and son is represented as y and they have given the heights of the different fathers and sons that is x and y. So here we can see that the number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can write it as n equal to 8. Right? And after that, so in order to find the regression, we have the parameters x, y, x square, y square, x, y. Okay? Substitute the values of x here, y here. So here, I got the summation of x as 544. Similarly, summation of y as 552. x square means we need to take 65 square, 66 square and write all the square terms. And I have got the summation as 37028. Similarly, summation of y square, I got it as 38132. Similarly, summation of xy, I have got it as 37560. These all the things you need to do using the calculator. And you need to be very careful while typing the numbers. Okay. So this takes a lot of time, but you need to be very, very quick in this uh, putting the values and solving, writing it in the tabular columns. Okay. This takes a long, very, very 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 much time this takes okay you need to be very quick okay yeah so again in order to calculate x bar and y bar the formula is summation x by n summation y by n summation x i got it as 544 substitute that 544 by the number of observations are 8 544 by 8 i got i'll get it as 68 similarly 552 by 8 i'll get it as 69 so now again the same thing calculate the equation of regression lines y on x and x on y and uh, y on x is given as y minus y bar b y x x minus x bar calculate b y x this is the formula again whatever we have got the value substitute that okay and find b y x first what if b y x i will get it as by simplifying this i will get it as 0 0.66 
and now put that 0.66 in this equation that is y minus y bar I got it as 69 equal to b suffix yx I got it as 0.66 into x minus x bar is again 68 so bring y to one side and we got the one regression line y on x that is y equal to ax plus b similarly equation of regression x on y right uh, x minus x bar equal to b suffix x y y minus y bar find b suffix x y using the formula I got it as 0.545 by simplification and uh, put this b x uh, sorry b x or uh, b suffix x y in this formula so while uh, bringing it uh, putting in the formula I get it as uh, bring one x to another side so this is x equal to a y plus b that is square regression line on uh, x on y so I got it as 0.5445y plus 30.395 okay so we these are the two lines of regression but they have uh, told to calculate see in the question they have told to find the lines of regression and hence calculate the coefficient of correlation right so we have discussed that the coefficient of correlation when uh, whenever they have given the two regression lines are some uh, square root of b suffix yx into b suffix xy so when we have we were founding the finding the co regression lines we have uh, written the values for byx and bxy right so those values only we are going to substitute that is byx is 0 0.66 and bxy is 0 0.545 put those values in this and find the correlation coefficient so this is equal to 0.5997 also we can uh, write it in approximation way and we can write it as 0 0.6 okay yeah. so this was the problem related to the coefficient correlation so we see in this question they have not they have not given any ranks in place of ranks they have given numbers for x and y so now for this we need to assign the rank so we need to give the rank for these numbers that is how we give the rank uh, generally the highest rank we would uh, highest rank is the highest number in this uh, that is the highest number here is whatever it, the, the highest number is we assign it as the rank 1 so in the same way we need to assign the rank for these numbers and after that we need to take the difference of the ranks okay here and again d is equal to x minus y but not this x and this y we need to consider the rank x and rank y and need to take the difference okay yeah so this is the question given we need to find the rank correlation of the following data given here where the number of observations are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 write it as 12 and again write the values for x and y so now let's assign the ranks the ranks uh, assignation should be either from highest to lowest or lowest to highest it's your choice okay you can uh, make it uh, as your choice okay? so here I'm I have taken from highest to lowest okay so here in these numbers which is the highest number you can see here the largest number here the largest number here is 72 okay and the smallest number now check for the smallest number and here the smallest number you can see it as 36 in this set of x values so first assign uh, the ranks for those two numbers that is we know that the number of observations are 12 so the rank should be given from 1 to 12 right so here the highest number rank is 1 and the lowest number rank is 12 so in the similar way the next number which is highest to 72 is 69 I have given it as 2 after that it is 68 I have given it as 3 after that it is 63 I have given it as 4 56 as 5 55 as 6, 49 as 7, 47 as 8, 42 as 9, 42 since this 42, 42 is repeating you can give the ranks as the continuous that is for one 42 you can give it as 9 for other 42 you can, you can give it as 10 okay no issues after that assign the next lowest number is 38 and the final lowest number is 36 that you have given it as 12 similar way for y terms also see here, here we can see that 160 is the highest and 115 is the lowest and similarly uh, get for the uh, the highest value skipping 160 that is the second rank is 155 so similarly give the rank for y also and the same thing again take the difference of x minus 5 not this and this we need to take the difference of the ranks that is 5 minus 6 is minus 1 9 minus 10 is minus 1 1 minus 1 0 and the same thing and again 
write it like this and after that take its square that is d square minus 1 square is plus 1 again minus 1 square is plus 1 0 is 0 1 square is 1 again 1 1 2 square is 4 again 0 is 0 minus 1 square is plus 1 2 square is 4 0 0 and last at last take the summation of this d square that is summation of d square here we got it as 14 and again the same thing put these values in the formulas that is the rank correlation is given as 1 minus 6 into summation d square divided by n cube minus n right where 6 into summation d square is 14 divided by 12 cube minus 12 so 1 divided by 14 6 is 84 divided by 12 cube minus 12 that i've got it as 1716 84 divided by 1716 let me check it 84 divided by 1716 yeah, I've got it as 0 0.0489 so I've taken this uh, uh, arounded this as 0 0.049 that is 1 minus 0 0.049 is given as 0 0.951 this is your final rank correlation okay yeah, so these were all about rank correlation